Bungie was back this week with their This Week at Bungie news drop, and today I'm going to round up all the key information from the news. So we got the launch issues, Iron Banner returning next week, returning future war cult loot, plus a whole load of known issues to dive into. Well, if you like this video or find it useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, this week at Bungie was released on the 13th of May 2021, and Bungie said... So Season of the Splicer went live this week, so killer robots channeled their inner Mr. Burns and blotted out the sun over the last city. So now Guardians are strapping on their power gloves and teaming up with the tech master Elixni to fight in the shade. So it's a tale as old as time. We did have some honeydew errors early on, but our team of experts buckled down to commune with our serves and fix the issues so you can get back to playing. And our deepest apologies to anyone who had their gameplay delayed. And you can check out the player support section for any ongoing issues tracked. And if you want to check it out, you can check it out on the This Week at Bungie update on Bungie.net. So despite some hiccups, the season is in full swing now. Here's a quick look at everything the new season pass has to offer. So first of all, we've got Hack and Slash. So this season has ushered in new additions to your arsenal from seasonal rewards to post-game Gambit, Crucible and Vanguard drops and more. We gave you a peek at these last week, so go and check them out if you want to have a look at what awaits you in the game. We've also added a series of returning future war cult weapons loaded up with new roles as well as some class specific swords to slice and dice and splice your way to victory and all of these weapons are available for free to all players and drop from multiple world loot pool sources. That's really good news and the class specific swords definitely one to look out for and pick up. And next up we got Iron Sharpens Iron so next week the first Iron Banner of the season of the Splicer goes live and Lord Saladin will be back in the tower with bounties and a slew of pinnacle rewards. Find him up on the top level and make sure you grab the quest he's offering as well. And we re-enabled the heavy weapon step and based on player feedback, have made it much easier to complete. It only requires three machine gun kills now to finish. So Iron Banner is going to start on May the 18th at reset and it's going to end on May the 25th at reset time. So make sure you get in there and get all that new loot. I think there's four new weapons to go after two of them new and two of them returning. So Bungie did say we showed off two new weapons as well as two year one reprise weapons that are getting random rolls for the first time in a previous TWAB. And here's another look in case you missed it. Well next up we got Cuteness. So Ikora and Mithrax have big roles in the season but the baby Elixni has stolen the show. So we watched as the community has exploded about how cute these little creatures are and if you want one of your own, sign up for email updates to know when the plushy babies become available at the Bungie store. And what I'll do, I'll link that down below in the description. So next up we've got full reports. We've got a bunch of known issues that are being tracked at the moment. So we're going to start with the Hotfix 3.2.0.0. So since the season of the Splicer launched, some players have been able to access Destiny and experience a crash when attempting to log in. We should have a fix for it today in Hotfix 3.2.0.0. And the patch also addressed the issue that was allowing some players to access crossplay early. Well, next up, we got armor synthesis. So, with players now able to turn their armor into universal ornaments, we'd like to clarify how and why some armor doesn't appear unlocked in the armor customization area. So, armor won't show up if a player is wearing that armor, and some armor sets were purposely combined into one set to reduce players accidentally overspending on their tokens for duplicate armor. So, examples include. Gambit Prime armors. So anyone who access the Gambit Prime armor set has access to the illicit, basic, the Gambit Prime armor synthesis universal ornaments. Also Leviathan Prestige class items. So the Prestige class items from the Leviathan raid use the same arrangement on the base version, but uses a different die to distinguish the two. So we reduce these two items into one item for armor synthesis. Red War Parade armors. So the legendary sets share appearances with the armor from the Red War introductory mission and green and blue solstice armor. The appearance of these armors are identical without the support of the glows and were reduced into a single set. So the green set also matches the wrecked parade armor, so it was reduced further. Purple solstice armor, so as we announced last week, the glows from 2018 and 2019 solstice of heroes, they're being reworked and will be implemented later in the year for the legendary armors only. And we got exotic armor, so exotic armor cannot take on the appearance of alternate armor nor can exotic armor be converted into universal ornaments used on legendary armor. 
And finally, year one armor ornaments. So these are being worked on and will be implemented later in the year. So you can view more information about armor synthesis on the Bungie.net support article. There's also a bunch of known issues. So while we continue investigating various known issues, here's a list of the latest issues that were reported to us in our help forum. So we got the presage activity is not rewarding pinnacles as intended. Deepstone Crypt no longer awards pinnacle gear, but lists that it does. The Titan Guardian Games contender plate chess piece does not appear in the preview and appearance customization screens. And the Guardian Games crown holograms may remain on a player's head after the conclusion of the event. Various Guardian Games quests and bounties may remain in players' inventories after the conclusion of the event. And Valor, Glory and Infamy ranks may not gain progress as expected when completing matches in their respective playlists. Players cannot use Wish Ender's perk Queen's Wrath when poisoned, and the join command is not fully functioning properly for players on Steam. The Destination Threader Armor Synthesis Bounty incorrectly states that open Blindwell chests to progress the bounty, players must defeat Blindwell bosses to complete the bounty. And Battlegrounds activity will not progress a Sacred Fusion quest, and the Special Finisher mod can be purchased multiple times from Ada 1, this is unintended as multiple copies of the mod will have no extra effect. The tutorial for creating an ornament through armor synthesis does not play if a Titan character is the first character to reach the step. The tutorial will play upon reaching orbit on a second character. The decrypted data trove items on ranks 2, 12 and 32. The season of the splice of the season pass can be acquired with a full inventory and players should ensure that they have space in their inventory before claiming these ranks. The 150 synth strand that could be earned from completing the armor synthesis introduction is not sent to the postmaster when players have a full consumables inventory. And finally, the Reverie Dawn armor set from Season of the Chosen is not showing the available shaders when previewing individual armor pieces in the preview and appearance customization screens. Well, let me know what you think of the news down there in the comments, and that is it for this Destiny 2 news roundup. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. See you soon.